Hey guys, it's Jen and it's time for July favorites. I cannot believe it is actually already like basically the middle of the summer, but I will say my products this month definitely reflect some summertime vibes, mainly because I feel like summer is the time where I really want to bust out my super bright lipsticks, as you can see. I absolutely love a super hot, almost neon colored lip, and I feel like neon just in general is so huge right now. I see it everywhere, neon green, pink, yellow, lime, hot coral, fluorescent orange. In general, I absolutely love me a really bright orange lipstick so that is my first favorite this is a lipstick I've actually had for a few years so I really hope it's still carried in stores so this is from Marc Jacobs I absolutely love the little packaging because it looks like a crayon this is the Marc Jacobs kiss pop lip color stick the color I love is number 610 crush and when you open it up it also kind of looks like a little crayon just like that and one thing I really like is that the color that's on the tip of the packaging is the color of the actual lipstick but this is one of my absolute favorite summertime lipsticks it has a really matte finish but it doesn't feel overly drying so it's not the kind of matte where it sucks your lips dry I wouldn't say it's hydrating either it's more on the full coverage matte very bold intense kind of realm so it's like a medium on the moisture scale but I like that it doesn't completely absolutely suck my lips completely dehydrated. It's just, you know, a nice, really opaque color. The orange, I would say, is still pretty wearable, but if you're a little scared of wearing like a really bright shade, you can actually use this color sort of like the K-Beauty way where you just put it in the center of your lips and then you just kind of smudge out the edges with your fingertip and then it'll make it a lot more wearable. But I actually like going full on bold summertime lip with this. I just think it's so pretty and it also makes your skin and hair just look really amazing somehow in photos I think just because of the contrast so I really love it. it just warms up my whole face and it makes a really nice statement but it's something that I still feel comfortable wearing during the day especially if you want to mix up your red lip every now and then this is a really great option next I wanted to talk about another lip product that I've had for a while but you know what I just think it's like such a classic. This truly is the red that looks good on everyone. I would say this is more like a snow white kind of deeper bold red versus like really hot fluorescent red. It's a little bit more almost like a darker red without at all going burgundy. It just is a very 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 classic shade and it looks beautiful on literally every single skin tone. So if you're someone where you're feeling like you have a hard time finding the exact right red shade for you to pull off, but you want to have that really beautiful matte vintage Hollywood glam kind of look, this is perfect. It's from Fenty Beauty. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this a couple times before, but I just love it so much. This is uncensored. It's the Stunna Lip Paint, and I absolutely think it's just so gorgeous. I feel like a lot of liquid lipsticks, especially nowadays, they have this really heavy feeling, almost like you're literally putting paint on top of your lips. When it dries down, you can definitely feel a little bit of that texture, but this one isn't like it. The formula actually feels like pretty liquidy when it goes on. That being said, I do feel like the ones that are a little bit thicker tend to have less transfer, so this is definitely not completely transfer proof, just in case y'all have kids or boyfriends or husbands where they don't want to have a big red mark on their face. If you kiss them with this, it will definitely get them red. However, I just think for a regular day where you want a really beautiful bright lip or if you're going to a nice event or even a date night where you're not gonna be kissing your significant other, girls night. It's the perfect girls night lipstick. I also think I've mentioned this before, but the applicator is really unique. I haven't really seen a lot of other companies use more of a horse hoof shape. It's like very round and a little bit angled, but I like that because when I'm putting it on, it doesn't completely cover the edges of my lip. So even if I don't use a pencil liner to line my lips to perfection before I put this on, I feel like I can still maneuver this where I can see exactly where I'm putting it on so I get a really crisp 
clean line the first time I lay it down. Absolutely love that. I wore this for Ezra's tour, so it's just one of those things where I feel like not only does it look good when I'm dressed in a nice dress, but I also have this beautiful white hanbok that I was wearing and the red on top of that looked so amazing. I just think it's so, so beautiful. Absolutely recommend it. I wasn't really planning on talking about my pixie glowy powders for two months in a row. However, I feel like the last month I talked about Wednesdays and this month I really, really actually have been wearing Fetch so much. So Fetch is the peachy toned glowy powder from my collaboration with Pixie, which if you haven't checked it out, it's literally in Target right now. You can also pick up this particular one. This one is an online exclusive at pixiebeauty.com. So if you want this shade, you have to get it from pixiebeauty.com or if you're in the UK or really anywhere, it does ship internationally from pixiebeauty.co.uk. So if you're living in like Singapore, for instance, you can still order it from pixiebeauty.co.uk. Get it shipped right there and you'll get to check it out. But this, I have to say, if you have more yellow or warmer undertones to your skin, in. Fetch is just so beautiful. My favorite thing about my glowy powders isn't just that they're just this beautiful highlight, but if you're running low on time, they actually have enough pigment that you can wear it as a blush highlighter combo hybrid product. And once you sweep it onto your skin, it just has this effect where you just look so healthy and glowing. It's kind of unlike any other blush product that I've ever tried. Ugh, I just want you guys to actually try it out in person because when you put it on your cheeks, you're going to see exactly the effect that I mean. It's so beautiful. I like wearing it by itself, but I also really like wearing it layered on top of a blush, just depending on how much color I want on the more forward part of my cheeks since I usually tend to put the highlighter a little bit higher and further back. But I am actually wearing Fetch today. It just has the most beautiful, healthy, peachy, golden shade shift when you're turning, but it's so stunning when you see it like in person on somebody's face. It just makes me so happy <laughs> when I see one of my friends wearing it. I'm like, oh my gosh, are you wearing such and such? I can always tell because it just gives like such a unique look. Also, the powder itself is so fluffy soft, so silky. It goes down so pigmented and it just is so beautiful because you can use a little bit and just get a hint of that like gold dusted kind of look or you can really load it up and get a lot of that really high shine, a lot of that gorgeous peachy color. And it's just so, so flattering on my skin. I love Wednesdays, but I honestly have to say I think Fetch is my favorite of the two glowy powders. So if you went to Target and you picked up Wednesdays and you realize you cannot find this in the store, head over to pixiebeauty.com if you want the exact links. I will leave both the domestic and international links in the info box down below. You guys, it's just so pretty. <laughs> Next, I wanted to talk about an eyebrow pencil. It's funny because I pulled this out for two reasons. First of all, I got a mailer recently from Hourglass, which if you guys are following me on on Instagram, you probably already know that because I do like to share some of my PR boxes that are really amazing that come in. Hourglass recently came out with more brow products and you guys who have been following me for a while know that I've already been such a huge fan of this particular pencil for like such a long time. This is their arch brow sculpting pencil. The color I love the most is soft brunette. It's what I'm wearing on my brows today. So when they expanded their collection, they actually came out with a skinnier version of the pencil as well as a few gels. So it made me super excited to pull this out again. When I first dyed my hair lighter, I really got into using Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade three, but I will have to say that one is a little bit warmer toned, a little bit more of that like brown color coming through, which is why it worked really well with the blonde colors in my hair. But as my hair has been growing out and I've had more of my natural blonde black hair at my roots. I just find that this shade is like the perfect shade if you have naturally black hair. I think it's not too brown. It's not too gray. It's definitely not like too cool toned. It's just the perfect natural looking color if you have black hair. As you can see, I think it matches pretty well. I think my biggest pet peeve, makeup is cool for everybody to use in their own way. And there are no rules, but I have to say my own personal pet peeve 
is when people with black hair or people who aren't naturally black haired dye their hair black and then think that their eyebrows need to be sharpie black. It just looks a little bit too jarring because our eyebrow hairs naturally don't look that stark on our skin. Some of us out there do have really bold brows, but a lot of times the best brow color on them is actually something a little bit lighter than the actual hair color because the hair isn't like a completely pigmented block on your entire skin. It's like separated. So the overall effect of the brow color is actually lighter than you might think. So the eyebrow tip I would give to anybody, I've been saying this for years and years, is if you have dark hair, I would go one to two shades lighter than your natural hair color to do your eyebrows. And then if you're blonde or very fair hair, I would go one to two shades darker than your hair color. The packaging is nice. It feels a little bit heavier weight. It has the angled tip on one side, which I've loved for a long time because I like how a lot of Korean brow pencils are like that. And this was one of the first like US domestic brands that started using this kind of brow pencil. And then on the other side, it has a nice little spoolie so you can blend everything right out. Finally, my last favorite this month is actually a primer. I I have been really into using, especially as I get a little older, I like to smooth everything out before I wear a liquid foundation. So this is one that I have been using for a while. It's from The Ordinary. And obviously The Ordinary is really great because it has a very accessible price point. They definitely cut out all of the expenses when it comes to packaging and marketing. And they just give you a product that is what it says it is. So this is their high adherence silicone primer it's just a super basic primer it does have a little bit of a white look to it just like that and it is a little bit sticky I would say but it does make your foundation adhere really well so when I smooth this on it gives it a little bit of a tacky base that your makeup really clings to and looks really lovely on I think one thing I like about this is it gives it a little bit more flexibility so that any kind of fine lines wrinkles pores all of that is really smoothed out and it just makes your makeup look really fresh and clear not like it gets really creased and cracked like some foundations can get at the end of the day. This one just really does its job and it's not too expensive. I'm wearing it today, I really love it. Before I end this video, I also just wanna give a little call out to a huge favorite this month, which is this jumpsuit I'm wearing. I feel like I have to show you guys. It's so cute, it has pockets, and has cute little cutout and tie right here. And it's so super comfortable. I just love it so much. Feels nice and cool and breezy when I'm wearing it. And I feel like the length is not too long if you're petite. I'm only like four foot 11 and I feel like it's the perfect length on me. I wish I had bought it in two colors. It does come in a black version. So I think I still might pick that one up, but I love it so much. I knew you guys would be asking about it. So I will leave a link to that in the description box down below as well as all the products I talked about here. So I guess that is about it for this month's favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jen. Nice to meet you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you have that notification bell turned on if you do not want to miss my future videos. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!